What's up, YouTube? I got two items in the mail today. Um, one from Pocan Joe and the other from Mr. Austin LeMay. And uh, both of these items were giveaway prizes if you were part of the Legion of Comics 900 subscriber live stream. I didn't quite win the uh, grand prize, but if you were there in the chat on the live stream, they had some kind of uh, hashtag giveaway through StreamYard, and uh, I was lucky enough to win twice. So the first, um, the first unboxing um, is from Pokan Joe, and the funny thing is, is that it actually does have pull tabs. Uh, if you were in the live stream, they were joking, saying uh, if you're looking for pull tabs or something, go blank yourself. But uh, he actually did it, and um, it says, "Congrats on the win. I hope this fits in your collection." Thank you for attending Legion of Comics 900 subscriber live event. It was a blast. Thank you, Puck and Joe. And so the book that he had given was an early Batwoman appearance, I believe. It's the world's finest book. Very nice. This was, I think, a duplicate for him. So thank you, Joe. I appreciate it. I'm going to link... A, uh, I'm going to put a link in the description for your channel, and then also I will put a link to Wack Comics, uh, your Wack Hack on Wack Comics on how to ship a comic book. And uh, I'm, I'm actually glad it came in a, in a Gemini mailer and it wasn't sealed uh, in, a, in, a, in metal. <laughs> and then uh, again, this one came from, uh, this one came from Austin LeMay. And uh, before I guess I opened that, I kind of wanted to, to share something that I had purchased from him. I was lucky enough to get the signed and numbered copy, and I also paid for a remark as well. So this is awesome. Something is killing the turtles. And uh, like I said, both packages came today. Everything was shipped really quick. I was very surprised. See, Mr. Mr. LeMay does know how to package. It does have pull tabs. And um, I figured after I opened this, I would actually share something um, that I'm a fan of, I guess. Because he ended up shipping me... Hold on one moment. He ended up shipping me one of my favorite artists, and I figured I have I have a whole short box of books that I'm gonna share, and I hope you guys enjoy it. But he shipped me King Spawn number one, I believe it was all the different covers, so I can't wait to actually look and go into reading it. And again, it will be definitely part of the collection. Because like I said, I'll, uh, I'll be happy to show you like uh, some of my, my favorite books that I have. There we go, another cover. I, I don't have any of these books, so this is pretty awesome. Thank you, Austin. So, like, I was a collector in the 80s and 90s. I kind of stopped early 90s, like uh, 93, 94. I um, kind of got out of collecting, moved into a different state. Um, so a lot of the stuff that I have um, is nostalgic for me because, like I said, I, I started reading Amazing Spider-Man more or less in, in, uh, when Eric Larson had uh, done the run, his run shortly after, you know, Todd McFarlane did his. And so I, I had a bunch of, like, Todd McFarlane books. Started collecting, like, the first Spider-Man series that he did. But I wanted to share pretty much, like I said, a short box of Todd McFarlane books. I got back into collecting in, like, 2017. 
and uh, I like to keep like the original receipts and stuff that I, I bought like on eBay because you know it's fun to look back and say hey I spent X amount of money you know on these books and um, so like in February 2017 I had purchased this 9-2 ASM 300 I had purchased a 298 a 299 obviously the 300 and then the other raw books were 302 316 317 so not only did I get the the ASM 300 slab I got oops, this was a 303 and a 9.6 and a 3.01 and a 9.4 and like I said in 2017 I ended up paying 3.45 total shipped so that's like a pretty sweet deal it was one of those things where the auction was like ending at 10.45 in the morning so it wasn't a good time to end an auction and it was definitely during the weekday. It was actually on a Thursday that it ended. But, um, yeah, I'm going to, like I said, go through pretty much my McFarlane collection. I realized, you know, after, like, going through this box that I'm actually missing some books. I don't have his full run, surprisingly. But, um, I started collecting, like I said, back in 2017 I was the kind of collector that would um sorry I'm having trouble understanding right now sorry <laughs> try a little later okay so um I ended up mostly collecting um like runs like lots and runs and so a lot of these I've just purchased you know just in runs cuz I wanted to have multiple copies always looking for a better copy um and like I said, I've, I've, I just enjoyed Todd McFarlane. And so, kind of never got tired of just constantly looking for books. Didn't really matter whether I was looking for, you know, direct or newsstand. I was just happy to have it. You know, anytime I go, like, into a comic book store, I'd go and pick up, um, you know, his books. If, uh, if the price was cheap enough. actually have like three of these yeah three three copies several copies of 317 <laughs> so yeah so like I said I, I know I have several copies of McFarlane. So I had a little technical difficulties showing off some of these other books, but to go on, continuing on the ASM McFarlane. I've got some more. And then um, from there, you know, obviously I collected um, the standalone series that he did with like, you know, that iconic web cover and all the different colors and the poly bag version I remember like I said specifically going to the comic book store and, and picking those up I, like I said I was a collector and reader at that time I have like several copies of this the only one I don't have I actually don't have the gold copy and I'm not looking for like the UPC code you know version or anything like that or you know the newsstand you know Walmart version but I still need to get like I said the the gold one and I have, like I said, several copies of most of those books. I have, you know, obviously the one through whatever he did, I think. I can't remember. He did a certain number and then it was some, another artist and then he did like a, a cover later on or whatever. But um, I actually have his first published work. 
I would always go and find, try to look for this, you know, in back bins. I actually went to a place in Tampa. It's called um, Missouri Comics. They don't, they're not open anymore. It used to be a huge warehouse. Everything was like a dollar. So I picked this up for a dollar, probably like in 2018. Some more early McFarlane. Like I said, I can't really, can't really beat it for a dollar. Here we go. And at the same place, I was actually picking up his early work on Infinity. And I don't have the whole, his whole work or run on these books. Give me one second. Books are sliding everywhere and I don't necessarily want these to get damaged. But yeah, um, back to some more Infinity, Todd McFarlane. So anything that he was, like I said, credited for, whether it was pencils, inks, cover, I, I, I basically, I just bought, I bought it. And this was like, you know, obviously before all this stuff started getting hot. 4.3.16 became hot. I actually bought his, not his whole run of uh, Hulk. Um, I don't have that iconic Wolverine, you know, Hulk cover. I don't know why. I think uh, I've always felt like I was always priced out. I've always just have been, like I said, um, kind of like a raw collector. I didn't start collecting slabs until like 2018. Actually, it's 2017, 2018. Yeah. Definitely love some of these Hulk covers. And another one I think, you know, that people probably don't know or appreciate or come to appreciate is this Conan. It's actually a newsstand. Beautiful copy. I picked this up for a dollar at that, uh, that um, warehouse, the comic book, uh, Missouri Comics. In, it was like Tampa area, somewhere around there. I guess I wish that place was still open. This was something that I still have been looking for. Um, I forgot I had this. Like My, my collection is like not totally... Um, organize and I was looking in a box and I found it and I'm like wow I couldn't believe I had that book I forgot I had it something else I always looked for are all of his um, Marvel Tales covers um, I just think they're really cool I mean I know Marvel Tales aren't very popular because it's just a reprint of you know an earlier ASM or whatever title but just I love the covers and I don't even have them all that's something that eventually I'll be doing Something else I love, this is, I think it's Wolverine number six. This is the actual back cover, and this is his work. I don't even show the front cover. I just have it in the bag, just like this. I was thinking about maybe finding one slabbed, high grade. I'd love to have this and just put it, like, you know, on the wall like that. And... I think we're going up to the last bit of McFarlane. I don't even think I haven't shared, you know, obviously um, my spawn stuff. But uh, I think he did the pencils on this G.I. Joe, and that's why I ended up buying it. I have um, his early work on Batman. Um, I just don't know where it is. I think I took a picture of it on um, Instagram, and again, <laughs> I wasn't very smart about where I put it afterwards, but um, I have Batman Spawn, and then obviously I have a couple copies of Spawn. This one's a newsstand. Also have a newsstand, First Angela, regular. Um, I think I collected from one through thirty, and then I didn't really like collect after that. And then going back into. Um, you know, the whole, if he inked or penciled, you know, I bought it. So this was something that he did with Liefeld. So I bought that. And then he obviously did some work on the New Mutants run. I don't know if I have all of it or not. I'd have to, like, look for it. But, you know, who doesn't love that? 
the 90, the 87 is one of my favorite covers. I don't know why. I have a couple homages of it. Oh, wait. <laughs> yep. That pretty much wraps everything up. Um, I will, like I said, have a link to Pokan Joe's YouTube. I will have a link to Pokan Joe's video on WAC Comics on how to ship a comic book. I will put Austin LeMay's um, Instagram information in the description so you could follow him. And I think I'll put um, Legion of Comics 900 subscriber live stream if you've missed it. Um, all great people, all great community members. Um, I hope you enjoyed the video. I hope maybe you saw a book that you hadn't seen before. Um, maybe something you didn't know. I don't know. But, uh, oh, before I f go, you may not have known this, but uh, Todd McFarlane had his own action figure. Look at that. Actually, uh, a friend of mine gave this to me. I, I, he gave me two of them and because uh, he knew I was a big McFarlane fan. So maybe that's something you never knew or never saw and or maybe you don't even care to know or, or buy because it's just him. He's not a superhero. He's just a figure. Anyways, hope you enjoyed it. Please comment below and tell me maybe what you enjoyed. Um, what's your favorite Todd McFarlane book? Do you like Todd, McFar Todd McFarlane? Well, I uh, look forward to seeing your response, and uh, if you've stayed for the whole video, man, I appreciate it. Thank you, and take care.